In this tutorial, we're going to learn some additional formatting so that we can improve and customize the look of our graphs in the BioWin album and make them look good for documents and presentations. In particular, we are going to learn how to change the date formatting on an existing chart and as a default so that our desired formatting will be used for all other charts that we create in the BioWin album. Let's look at an existing time series chart that shows the effluent ammonia and nitrate concentrations. Most of the formatting that we routinely do on charts and series is available by right-clicking on the chart. Right-click on the chart and choose Edit Axes from the pop-up menu. This opens an interface that allows me to change many aspects of the axis formatting. Note that by default the left axis is selected to be edited, but I can highlight any other axis and perform formatting options on these as well. If I select the bottom axis, I can see how the axis labels are defined by clicking on the Labels tab and selecting the Format sub-tab. In this particular chart, the date and time format is defined as the day followed by the month and the year. We can expand the drop-down menu to choose an alternative date-time format. Or alternatively, we can customize the desired label by manually specifying the format. For example, suppose I'd like the label to show an abbreviated name of the month followed by the day and then the entire year. I can clear the entire text edit box contents and enter the letter M. If I keep entering M, we see the format changes to show two numbers representing the number of the month. And if I type another M for month, the abbreviated name of the month appears. Now I will enter a dash to separate the month from the day. We can see that the label gets edited in real time, which is a useful feature when you're learning to use the chart editing features. Now I will enter the day by entering a letter D followed by a dash, and the year by continuously entering the letter Y until the desired number of digits appears. Click close to finish. If we're going to be generating a lot of charts that we want to extend this formatting to, or if we already have a lot of existing charts in our album that we want to change the date labels for, we can change our chart formatting defaults to save us the time of having to go in and edit each chart individually. The charting defaults are defined in Chart Master. We can open Chart Master by going to Tools and selecting Chart Master. So once Chartmaster is open, double-clicking anywhere in the white box will open the Chart Editor dialog box. So click on the Series tab and select the Time Series sample from the drop-down menu. In the General tab under the Horizontal Axis group, select the Date Time checkbox. This changes the bottom axis from a number format to a date and time format. You'll notice that selecting date and time does not actually change the bottom axis of the sample chart. In order to get access to the date and time formats on the sample chart, you have to change the current value series options. In the top drop down list, select current value samples from the drop down menu, and in the horizontal axis group of the general tab, check the date time checkbox. This now changes the bottom axis to a date and time format so we can edit the labels. Click the chart tab and then select access from the sub tab list. Select the bottom axis and select the labels tab from the third tab list from the top. In the Format tab, let's edit our chart access to months, days, and years. In this example, I'm just going to leave it as is. As it currently stands, this format will be used for both our current series and time series charts. We're only interested in having this formatting for our time series charts. So to remove it from the current series charts, we must go back into the series tab and uncheck date time from the horizontal axis. Click close to exit the chart editor dialog box. 
Before we exit Chart Master, click the Apply to All Charts button and then Close. This will change our bottom labels on all of the existing time series charts in the album, as well as any new charts that we add to the album. To confirm this, let's reopen the album and look at our dynamic chart. So we can see that all of the labels have been changed to show months followed by days and years. Let's add a new time series chart to the album. I'm going to add a chart of the total COD in the aerobic and anoxic bioreactor and then run a dynamic simulation. And again, we can see that the chart master options have been applied to our bottom axis labels. This concludes the tutorial on formatting chart dates. For more information on chart formatting in BioWin, please see the basic chart formatting playlist in Envirosim's video library. Please also review our other video tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.